Now you can also use Scale Breaker with instruments that, that don't support MPE. To do so, set the MPE toggle to non-MPE output. This toggle doesn't exist in Live 10 though, as Live 10 doesn't support MPE anyway. After that, make sure the output pitch bend range correlates with the pitch bend range within your instrument, device, or VST plugin. In operator, this control is located over here. Now using a lower range allows for more accurate tuning. Again, this is desirable for just intonation tunings. And Scale Breaker will by default transpose the played notes when needed, which allows you to use lower ranges. But if the range is too small and a note can't be played properly, this parameter will be highlighted for a short time. The downside of non-MPE instruments is that they can only be retuned monophonically. As a workaround though, you can use multiple instruments of your instrument and send each one its own monophonic MIDI. To do so, place the instrument within a group, then navigate into the scale breaker package and place the voice SB device in front of your instrument. Scale breaker will tell you with this info test right here, there's found one voice. Now duplicate the chain within the group a bunch of times. The amount of chains determines how many voices you will have. In Live 11, even if you don't change the tuning, this workaround also allows you to play MPE MIDI with non-MPE instruments.